Biological psychology is the study of how biological processes influence behaviors, thoughts, and emotions. It examines the connection between our brains, neurotransmitters, and various aspects of our behavior, ranging from memory and perception to mental health conditions. Originally rooted in ancient philosophy, biological psychology truly began to flourish in the 19th century with the advent of modern science. Early work by Charles Darwin on evolution and natural selection laid the foundation for understanding how biological factors impact behavior. By the 20th century, advancements in technology and neuroscience, including brain imaging techniques like MRI and PET scans, allowed scientists to explore the brain in unprecedented detail. Let's explore some key concepts in biological psychology. One key concept is neurotransmission. This is the process by which neurons communicate with each other. It involves the release of neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers, from one neuron to another across a synapse. This process is crucial for brain function and affects everything from mood to muscle control. Understanding neurotransmission helps explain how drugs and medications affect the brain and behavior. Another key concept is the understanding of brain structures and functions. Different parts of the brain control different functions. For example, the frontal lobe is associated with decision-making, problem-solving, and planning, while the hippocampus is crucial for memory formation. By studying brain structures, biopsychologists can link physical changes in the brain to changes in behavior and mental processes. Another key concept is genetics. Our genes can play a significant role in our shaping behavior. For example, studies on twins and families have shown that many traits and behaviors have a genetic component. By examining the role of genetics, biopsychologists can understand how inherited traits influence everything from intelligence to susceptibility to mental health disorders. Now, let's look at some benefits of biological psychology. Firstly, one significant benefit is its contribution to understanding mental health disorders. By identifying the biological underpinnings of conditions like depression, schizophrenia, and anxiety, researchers can develop more effective treatments. This understanding has led to the creation of medications that can correct imbalances in neurotransmitters, providing relief to millions of people. Secondly, biological psychology has improved medical treatments and interventions. For instance, deep brain stimulation, a technique that involves implanting electrodes in the brain, has been used to treat conditions like Parkinson's disease and severe depression. This method would not have been possible without insights gained from biopsychological research. However, biological psychology also has its limitations. One limitation is reductionism. This approach often simplifies complex human behaviors and experiences to mere biological processes. While biological factors are crucial, they are not the only influences on behavior. Environmental, social, and psychological factors also play significant roles, and reducing everything to biology can overlook these important elements. Another limitation involves ethical concerns. Research in biological psychology often involves invasive procedures, animal testing, and manipulation of brain functions, raising significant ethical issues. Balancing the need for scientific advancement with ethical considerations is an ongoing challenge in this field. But biological psychology isn't the only type of psychology, which is why you need to watch this video on every type of psychology. I'll see you there.